Hey yo, what is going on? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we're back at it with the tier list. This one on the small forwards position. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash the like button down below. Comment your favorite small forward in the entire game at this point in time. It can be anybody that you can run at the small forward. Who is your favorite? And make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 10k. All of that wonderful stuff. So, starting off, obviously, we have the D tier. Um, and like always, we're just going to show everybody that we have in the D tier right now. That being Emerald Ben McLemore, Sapphire's David McDaniel, and Ruby Tony Kuko. Just wanted to pick up some of them that were at least the best in their relative tiers. You know, Ben McLemore, solid small forward for an Emerald. Um, Xavier McDaniel, one of my favorite um, Sapphire small forwards. Absolutely insane. I um, prefer him at the four, but Xavier McDaniel does everything really great. Um, Tony Kuko. For a Ruby, pretty solid, but is really just kind of somebody that you throw into the court to run at the three or the four to really space the floor, um, not really bring too much defense. Not too much point if you have a halfway decent squad to run too many of these guys, um, but you know maybe they could have some niche play um, like over the weekend in Limited, but not too much reason to really run these guys. Um, starting off in the C tier, we have, first off, Diamond Chuck Person. Um, now, Chuck... He's a solid card, but when I was actually looking at him, there's a few things that he's actually, you know, missing out. Obviously, six to eight is a great size, but a real lack of badges. I mean, we have a lot of shooting badges, um, but we don't have dead eye or range kind of, which is a little bit tough. But we can add those, so it's cool. With the finishing badges, we can add them all, which is nice. Um, but he only has four silver right now, so a little bit tough. We can add all the defensive badges, um, but he has none already, um, and only two playmaking badges. And we can't add quick first step. Can only add postman and dream shake. Um, so, it's looking a little tough for Chuck Person. He's also a little bit slow. Um, the defense is okay, but there's a lot of badges that I think you really need to add to this Chuck to really make him like a really solid card. And if you're adding all these badges just to get him to like a B or maybe an A tier, I really don't think is worth your time um, to do it. But maybe you like him. Maybe his release is beautiful for you and absolutely butter, and you're just killing it. So maybe. But personally, for me, I'm I'm just not feeling him. Um, next up, we have Ruby Bruce Bone. In my opinion, probably one of the best, you know, Ruby um, two to three cards in the game. I'd low-key probably put him in my top three. Absolutely love this Bruce Bowen card. Um, six foot seven and is a really, really great catch and shoot shooter from three. Um, great defense, has gold clamps, um, gold intimidator, and uh, both pick dodger, which is great, along with a few other badges, obviously. Um, but just has an amazing jump shot and jump shot 40. Beautiful off the catch and just plays solid defense, but... Um, really doesn't do anything outside of the whole 3 and D aspect, so I did have to um, knock him down a little bit. Although I do love Bruce Bone, and most people that are on a budget should be at least trying this card out because it's absolutely amazing. Um, next up, Ruby Andrew Wiggins, another card that, um, as a budget guy, you gotta at least try out this Andrew Wiggins because he's absolutely insane. Um, six foot eight. Um, and great stats overall. That's the great thing about this Wiggins. Um, he just doesn't have the badges to back it up. So we have some nice finishing badges, but we're definitely missing out on a lot. We have no shooting badges and no playmaking badges, along with not being able to get quick, quick first step. But bronze clamps is good. And again, I think as a budget guy, um, you really can't go wrong picking up this Andrew Wiggins card. But there's definitely, definitely, definitely better small forwards out there. Um, I love this Wiggins, and you can definitely get some really nice play out of him um, if you know what you're doing. But it's a bit of a stretch. A bit of a stretch. Um, next up, the worst bank diamond in the entire game, Peja Stojakovic. This Peja, it pisses me off how bad um, this Peja is and the fact that he's going for over 100k um, on the auction house, at least on PlayStation, sends me through the roof. Um, Peja only has badges in shooting, which doesn't even include flexible release, green machine, or range extender, and he can't get any badge in any other category and doesn't have any other ones to start off. Like, get out of here. Ain't nobody wants you. Peja, absolutely horrible. Never pick up this card. Never use this card. Um, and the only reason um, I didn't put him in D is because he is a knockdown shooter. Um, but... I mean, why? Why? Why do they have to do that, man? At least something. Something else. Um, but next up, we have Sapphire Brian Russell. One of my favorite Sapphire cards in the entire game, if not my favorite. Um, and that's just because Brian Russell is just a nice six foot eight small forward that um, kind of plays that Bruce Bowen role, where you're going to be playing some nice defense and just shooting the ball off catch and shoot. Has an 84 shot three, nice 80 premier defense, silver clamps, which can be upgraded, gold catch and shoot, silver hot hunter, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, has jump shot 30, which is like check person and Scotty Pippen based. 
Um, so it's not the most amazing, but with the shot stick, actually a really money release because it is slightly on the slower side. So really money, really nice. Um, but overall, just a mediocre card. Um, starting off the B tier, we have Diamond Tyreek Evans. Now I understand that the, this Tyreek Evans card could be pretty nice for a lot of people because I mean, he's got some nice Hall of Fame badges, like quick first step on Hall of Fame. That is amazing. Um, also has bronze clamps, but it can't be upgraded past that, so a little bit tough. Um, but gold dimer, needle thudder, some decent shooting badges, although most of the ones that you would want to be upgraded are only like silver. And he is missing things, um, obviously like Deadeye, even corner specialist and sniper or flexible release. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit tough if I'm being honest, although you can make it work. I think the one thing that you really want to do with this Tyreek Evans is, is like cheese up a little bit in playmaking, um, get to the basket and kind of get finishes like that and then take threes when you want to because this jump shot is absolutely horrid. But there is some niche play for Tyreek Evans and I think um, he's a very, very solid card all around. He just doesn't woo me um, in any way. Next up, we have Ruby Steven Jackson. One of, again, the best budget Ruby small forwards that we have in the game just because he can do everything um, really really solidly and now this is also kind of just relatively badged up Steven Jackson like you know you got a Steven Jackson that you added clamps and a quick first step to you can have him solidly in the B tier because the Rudy Gay base is beautiful he's a nice driving dunk really good shot three decent defense um, along with that gold clamps and solid speed now if you add a range extender onto your Steven Jackson um, now we can talk about possibly putting him up in the A tier um, but I think for most people that's a little bit um, too much of a jump and way too expensive to throw into a ruby card So I think the more accurate rating or at least the more fair rating would be to throw him into B tier um, So we threw him into there Because he's still a solid card overall and you know that eventual Steven Jackson that we get that's a diamond or something is going to be a demon Absolutely insane um, Next up we have Amethyst Larry Kennan. Now I love this Larry um, But there's one massive flaw in his game and that's lack of shooting now It's not to say you can't shoot with him it's just significantly harder because he has no shooting badges um, whatsoever, but he can get some really solid ones. But Larry Cannon, insane finisher, has a 95 driving dunk, Hall of Fame posterizer on next gen, 87s in his speed, um, can actually speed boost with a little bit of a ball handle boost, um, amazing defense all around, like 83 interior, 82 perimeter, silver clamps, silver quick first step, is in a great overall card. I um, mean, if you do badge up his shooting with Jump Shot 4, he's a very, very solid card. Um, but what I like to do, you know, run a 5 out with Larry and then just give it to him in the corner and kind of treat him like a Giannis type at like power forward. And he actually works very, very well at that. Absolutely love the card, but he is a little bit limited. Um, next up, we do have Amethyst Glenn Rice, who is another one of those, you know, kind of guys that is up into B tier because of how great of a shooter he is. And that's really about it, man. Um, has Hall of Fame Corner Specialist, has some really solid badges, including Silver Deep Threes, um, and you know, Gold Pick Dodgers, okay, defense, uh, but no other defensive badges. Really just give me that beautiful kind of catch and shoot guy with a 92 shot three um, in range. The Larry Johnson or like Danny Green jump shot base, which is beautiful, which is nice, easy to time, and he just gives you a lot of really nice things, but again, is limited in the sense that offensively he's great, but defensively, you know, sometimes it can be a little iffy. Next up, we have Diamond Darius Miles. What usually one of my favorite cards um, every year when he comes out because he just has a beautiful base. This year it's Brooke Lopez, um, which is great. Has Hall of Fame highlight reel and posterizer, which is again amazing. And if you badge him up, um, you know, by throwing you know quick first step on him and a lot of defensive badges, you can actually get a really really solid overall um, Darius Miles card that can just you know play the three or play the four, um, get really solid defense, finish inside the paint, absolutely crazy, and still shoot. Um, relatively well because the Brook Lopez base is very very easy to time but again your big negative is going to be shooting like somebody uh, similar to like Larry Cannon it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, next up Diamond Kawhi Leonard one of my favorite cards uh, really in the game just because Kawhi is a demon on defense but we all know that um, Kawhi six foot seven is solid at the three definitely not the most at well, I guess it's a pretty solid height for small forward. I don't know what I'm saying. But um, I think the big negative, um, to me at least for Kawhi, is the fact that he doesn't get quick for a step, um, which is a, a little bit tough. 
and some of his finishing matches are a little bit iffy. Um, but defensively, this Kawhi Leonard is probably one of the most locked down cards I've used in the entire game. Has the Ray Allen jump shot base, which is absolutely amazing. An 80 on ball seal tendency is great, um, but the contest shot is a little bit low, so sometimes it can be a little sus. Um, I do think this Kawhi Leonard is great. Um, but he's definitely limited in some of the badges that he has, you know, on silver or on bronze. And it, it's a little tough. So I love this guy, but there's definitely a lot more room to improve on him. Um, next up, Diamond LeBron James. Um, LeBron James is just kind of that jack of all trades, master of none in his diamond version um, card, except for like finishing. Really good at finishing. Solid defense with silver clamps. Um, okay shooting, but definitely definitely needs some gold badges there but can't get any um in playmaking we don't have quick first step that's tough that's tough i mean it's great to be a good slasher but when you're gonna have some trouble getting to the paint it can be a little bit difficult um and lebron outside of the 93 point rating can be a little bit tough to really smack down consistent shots i like this diamond lebron james but again i'm just not the biggest fan of him without that quick first step i think he'd be a great card but He's kind of just one of those guys that's really good at everything, but doesn't really give you too much in one category other than finishing. Um, and then last but not least is Diamond Larry Bird. This Larry Bird card is amazing. Um, absolutely godly and was one of the best, you know, small forward power forwards that we had um, for quite a while. But at this point, you know, 66 speed, no dunking is pretty tough. Only silver clamps. Um, pick Dodger and Box on his defensive badges. No quick first stab either. So we're not really going to be, I guess, going crazy like that. Um, now, he does have, you know, gold range and all that sort of stuff, which is going to be great. But again, he is very, very, very slow. So for the same reason, you're probably not, you know, using a Kyle Korver because he just takes way too long to get down the court. Uh, that's the reason I'm not using a Larry Bird. Um, he's a great card, but again, he's just way too slow for my personal um, preference at this point in the year. It's really kind of 80 speed to everybody, but that's the center that I'm, I'm trying to feel. Um, next up at the A tier, we have Dom and Chris Mullen. An overall very, very, very solid card. Um, Chris Mullen, 6'7", 6'10", wingspan, absolutely beautiful. Gold range, which you gotta love. Silver clamps, which is amazing. We got Hall of Fame catch and shoot. And um, jump shot 22 for his jump shot base, which is money off the catch, like money. One of the better catch and shoot shots that we have in the game right now. Um, can add a quick first step to him, which is great. Um, the only negative really on this um, Chris Mullen is, you know, he doesn't have that great ball handle and speed boosting ability, and he severely lacks the ability to jump, but, or dunk. <laughs> what he does well, um, he's one of the best at this Chris Mullen is insane, insane card. Um, next up is <laughs> Paul Pierce's Pink Diamond. Um, to me, kind of the same story as a... Um, you know, Chris Mullen card, he's going to be a really, really, really good shooter. Um, still play some solid defense and, you know, finish at the basket pretty well. Um, now, Pierce can dunk, has an 80 driving dunk, but we are lacking the quick first step on somebody like Pierce. So, it's a little tit for tat situation, but I mean, if you have this Paul Pierce, still a great card, still one that I think really, really, really performs well. And now, with some reports saying that you actually can start to hit corner threes with Pierce, just another big negative, especially on next gen. Um, next up, Diamond Paul George. I mean, you kind of know the story with PG by now. He's been in the game for a while. Um, really solid at getting to the basket with a nice, like, I think 80 to 90 driving dunk. Can't remember the exact number. Um, only thing that he's really lacking, I would say, is um, gold range because he has silver quick first step, <laughs> um, cold clamps. Uh, so if we get a Paul George range, it's going to be over. But this Dumb and PG is still very, very, very solid as like that 3 and D overall role. Um, really love him. Definitely, definitely recommend him uh, to anybody that kind of needs just somebody to come in, hit some threes and play some defense. Next up, we have Amethyst Mike Miller. Mike Miller was a actual big surprise for me when he did come out on the Halloween rewards event. Because Mike Miller, 6 for 8, 6 11 wingspan, silver ranger center, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, and bronze clamps, which can be upgraded. Um, you can add a quick first step onto him as well. Um, the jump shot 4, jump shot base with a uh, 92 shot 3 is absolutely money. Can speed boost already um, and solid, solid, solid speed. If I'm being honest, I've gone against this Mike Miller a few times. And you have to work to make sure that he doesn't get some open shots because once he does, it is locked down. Absolutely knocked down. Um, love this Mike Miller card. Wish I would have been able to get him on my own account, but it is what it is. Next up, we have Amethyst Mike 
Dunleavy. I mean, six foot nine, Mike Dunleavy with the jump shot for base. Like, oh my lord. Um, Again, has a bronze range, which you can upgrade if you feel like it. Add the clamps on to him is kind of one of the big things to kind of warrant this ranking. And a quick first step, which is great. 90 shot three with a jump shot four. Again, beautiful. Solid defense overall. And just again, a really, really solid card. And when you have really good stats and you're also six foot nine, I mean, there's really no way to go wrong. Mike Dunleavy is a uh, absolute beast. It doesn't get talked about enough, but it's still an absolute demon. Next up, Diamond Latrell Sprewell. Now, I know a lot of people love this Latrell card, and he does have, you know, some really, really insane um, stats mixed with some pretty solid badges. I wouldn't say that they're... Well, I guess the really cool thing he's missing is having a range extender, um, a dead eye, you know, things like that that you're going to have to add in a sniper or flexible release. It definitely things that he's for sure missing, but once you add those, um, I think it really helps. Also has silver quick first step and gold clamps, which is really, really solid. So, Lachelle's great, but 6 foot 5 at the 3, a little bit tough. I think at a shooting guard position, this Lachelle speedball is definitely in the S tier because, you know, jump shot 4. Again, absolutely amazing base, um, but at a 6 foot 5. I'm gonna have to knock him down a little bit. And that's the same reason we have guys like John Havlicek down here as well, because they are insane at the shooting guard. But at the small forward, it's kind of that position where some people will run really big um, bigs, like, you know, for example, maybe they're running a Larry Cannon, and it can absolutely kill um, somebody who is not prepared with the correct, you know, interior defense and things like that um, to get with it. But for a John Havlicek, Again, just as amazing as a um, Latrell Sprewell because we have gold clamps, we got silver range extender, we can add quick first step, and we have some solid, solid, solid finishing. Um, but the one thing that holds John Havlicek back a little bit for me um, is jump shot 17 is one of those like weird jumpers where you load up a little bit and then jump forward just a little bit too much for my liking. Um, and it can cause you to get, contest get contested on shots that you really shouldn't. And it's a little bit tough for me. But other than that, John Havlicek is an absolute beast. Um, next up is Amethyst Jimmy Butler. Another card that I'm a dog for not having um, quick first step. But Jimmy is just solid overall. I mean, we have Hall of Fame Green Machine, which is great. Um, we have Silver Clamps, sadly can't be upgraded. And again, we're missing a lot of playmaking badges. But Jimmy's really solid at finishing and can be a pretty capable shooter as well. You know, jump shot 22, great jump shot that helps you kind of shoot through not having badges. That's why somebody like Andrew Wiggins is decent i mean obviously we have him in seats here but he's still a decent shooter despite having no badges um but with the badges that jimmy does have i think a lot of them you have to upgrade and still he's missing catch and shoot he's missing dead eye he's missing corner specialist and he's missing hot 100 pretty big badges um for somebody that's going to be running the three or the two for you and i think it really hurts this jimmy butler um still an amazing card but just not up to the standards at least for me personally i have to throw him into ass um, next up, we have Elgin Baylor. Kind of the same story of he is an amazing, amazing card, but 6 foot 5 still is a little bit undersized um, for a small forward. Now, Elgin makes up for it with the fact that once you Evo him up, he does have um, gold clamps, gold intimidator, a 89 perimeter and interior defense, which is amazing. Um, has a gold quick first step and 95 speed as well. Um, but the one thing that uh, still hurts Elgin is the fact that he has solid shooting stats, but then no hot zones kind of outside of the three-point lines, even though he has gold hot zone hunter and green machine. It can be a little bit tough to green, although I've still been able to make it work. So there's still definitely some possibility for Elgin, but being undersized and lacking a lot of hot zones from three to kind of hurt your shooting a little bit is definitely not what I want out of somebody that I'm trying to put in S. And last but not least, we have Pink Diamond, Detlef Shrimp. Just one of those guys, um, again, really, really solid at everything kind of in the game um solid finisher really really good shooter um but you have to add range center on him solid defender once you badge up clamps and intimidator and all that wonderful stuff um but no quick first step again it's kind of tough but jump shot 40 is a great jump shot so you show that live shrimp um again another card that i really don't recommend locking in but again it's solid um starting off the s tier we have vince Carter, one of the few cards that I'm okay with the fact that they are a little bit undersized of the small forward because six foot six isn't that bad. 
um, but eventually I think it will be. Um, Vince Carter is just a demon. One of the best finishers, if not the best finisher that I've gone against at the small forward or shooting guard position. He literally has dunked on me almost every single time. I've tried to stop it. Paint defense just feels non-existent around this Vince Carter. Um, silver deep threes, which is great, along with this Vince Carter jump shot, which has a massive green window. Um, gold quick first step is amazing. Silver clamps and just some of the most insane badges or stats in the entire game. And again, the Vince Carter jump shot just has that massive green window that you can't ignore. Absolute demon. Um, next up from the possessed Halloween set, also LeBron James. Everything that um, the diamond LeBron James does, this pink diamond LeBron James does even better. Just amazing. Um, we actually get some Hall of Fame badges in shooting, like difficult shots and uh, stop and pop. We have Hall of Fame Dimer, Gold Quick First Step now, which is a huge boost to this LeBron James, and Gold with Clamps, um, which is amazing. And again, like Vince Carter, some of the most insane. Um, badges in the game and stats in the game uh, but tough thing about LeBron James every year is that his layup package is always so bad um, so for the most part it hurts every card that kind of has it so that's not the most ideal thing but LeBron is still an absolute demon um, next up pink diamond Dr. J arguably one of the best cards in the game like every single time you could easily talk about Dr. J being basically a top three card at all times because dr j with the rudy gay jump shot base is just gorgeous i mean come on um has gold clamps now missing out on quick first step but you can add it so don't worry you can add range and all that wonderful shooting stuff and again if you've locked in for dr j you got the mt to do it so we're just gonna take it as if he's fully batched up um 95 driving dunk we can speed boost really nice 94 in the speed which is beautiful great um, defense, great shooting again with the Rudy Gay base. Um, only thing that he's really lacking is the tendencies, but profile moving behind the back, beautiful, wonderful, and it definitely makes me love this Dr. J card even more. Seriously, one of the best cards in the game. Um, next up, we have Pink Diamond James Worthy, and um, this is one that I've been a little bit interested in because when badged up with, you know, range extender, all of those wonderful shooting badges, quick first step, and then putting the clamps up to gold, this James Worthy is Jimmy Butler, um, but with just insanely better stats and more, you know, solid, solid badges, especially in finishing. Um, so it's interesting to me that a lot of people have rated Jimmy Butler a lot higher than James Worthy, but Worthy is an absolute demon and is, to me personally, a Jimmy Butler um, just with extra juice. Um, next up, Pink Diamond Grant Hill. Again, one of those guys that every single time he gets in the paint is probably going to be a dunk and you're you're gonna rage. I mean, it's, it's just how it is. Um, but obviously, like most cards, you can badge him up and give him range center. But he already has Hall of Fame quick first step and gold clamps already. So the only expense I think you're really doing is adding things like Deadeye, um, what is it? Rhythm shooter, maybe if you're on next gen and set shooter, things like that, um, as well as um, deep threes or radius center just to really give him that oomph up there that he kind of needs um, to really be great. But other than that, 96 driving dunks, some insane finishing badges, um, insane speed, 95s there, awesome defense. Um, and with Grant Hill, the one negative I think is jump shot one. But in saying that, jump shot one is slower, so it's easier to time. And with the shot stick, it is amazing. So I still think you can find uh, your way around it. Plus, if you've driven to the basket enough, people are going to give you some more space um, just to not get blown by by Grant, which allows you to have a little bit more time um, to get those shots off. Next up, Diamond Giannis Antetokounmpo. Again, a card we kind of all know why he's here at this point. Giannis is just broken. That's the best way to play. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Pink Diamond Dominique Wilkins. Another card that you do have to, you know, you got to badge him up a little bit. You got to give him a little... You gotta give him a little love because Dominique Wilkins is missing, um, you know, things like range center and quick first step, but add them, get the clamps up to gold. And again, you've got one of the most insane slashes you'll ever use in the game with a solid jump shot, 90s in his speed, great defense, and just solid all around. Love this Dominique Wilkins card. Um, but that is all we have for the best small forwards tier list. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video, you guys did enjoy, and subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to uh, 10k subscribers. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see y'all in the next video.